One of the nation's largest Confederate monuments is no longer standing tonight. The Robert E. Lee statue in Richmond, Virginia is now in storage, removed today after more than 130 years. News Nation's Ben Dennis from our station WRIC has more on what the future now holds for that statue. Well, the 12-ton Confederate statue standing a tall six stories high is no longer a fixture over the former capital of the Confederacy here in Richmond. 130 years after celebration brought it up, a fist in the air to celebrate Robert E. Lee coming down. The statue left its pedestal over Richmond's famed Monument Avenue coming down after decades of debate, the latest racial reckoning, and a full year battled in the courts. Now, during the excitement from supporters of the statue's removal, one person broke through security lines. The statue of the Confederate general was then cut into pieces. The bronze figure's torso was taken off of the horse and lowered to the ground. This was because of the sheer size, unable to fit itself on the flatbed of the truck to be hauled away. Now, here it's leaving Monument Avenue for one final time after all other Confederate statues that once lined the road for decades brought name to the street. Jefferson Davis, Stonewall Jackson, and more now are all gone. I'm just here to see that this treasonous, traitorous statue put where it belongs that's out of the public eye. And for all these people in Richmond that are still whining and crying about the statue brought, being brought down, I'm here to catch their tears. Now, I'm told the pieces of the Lee statue will be temporarily housed at a women's correctional center just west of Richmond. Now, some have long opposed removing these Confederate statues, but for those who have protested over the last year, Today was a moment of reckoning and one that a symbol of oppression is now gone. Back to you.